If I had to name just one thing about Ona, I think it would be um, that she has an energy for life and a positivity and a hope for our world that balances my negativity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try it again. <laughs> Let's see. My name is Miriam Rand, and we live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My name is Ona Porter. The government says we are strangers, but we've been together for 20 years. We are a family. We are not strangers. When Ona's mother was sick was that we were both working full time and we had a five-year-old at that point. And so we had to manage school and work and a mother who was in the hospital. Our middle daughter has MS and is barely walking, and she has an adopted eight-year-old daughter who has cerebral palsy. We are not only assist with the caretaking of our daughter, but our granddaughter lives with us almost full time. So yeah, we're a family dealing with um, all of the challenges that families deal with every day. Can't we at least have the protection of the state uh, in our lives that others have? When our daughter was a middle school girl testifying at the legislature, what she said to the people in the room was, you would be proud of me. I do my homework. I um, am nonviolent. I care about the people in my community. I started a recycling program. I also you know, need to be consequenced because my room is not clean and I don't always come home on time. and." and that kind of thing. But for you to be proud of me, you need to be proud of my family. And my family deserve the same rights as any other family in the state. Yeah, I always wonder why we need to walk around with a purse full of documents that say that we're legitimate in the world. And we have to have those documents when we take a, our grandchild to the doctor and when we want to speak for one another. Um, and uh, it just seems really unreasonable to me. After 20 years of um, caring for one another, our aging parents, our children raising children, and now a grandchild, uh, why is that needed? Why can't we be protected like everybody else? For more information about our story and others, please visit the American Civil Liberties Union website. You can also learn how your story can make a difference.